Hi there, Ross from Scanify here. Check out this 3D model. We're going to learn today how to collect images with your drone in order to create a 3D model just like this. First step is taking a look at your drone's camera. Now we're using the Phantom 4, but this applies to every drone. It's important to angle our camera at around 45 to 70 degrees. This is so our 3D model will include vertical features. If we fly over a building with our camera face directly down, we won't see those vertical features nearly as well. Okay, as always, when we take off, be sure our drone is clear of any surrounding obstructions, including anything above it. Now in this example, we're gonna be flying in the point of interest flight mode, or POI, and we're using the DJI GO app. Keep in mind you can use your favorite app and your favorite drone, just as long as the drone takes geotagged images. Now we're choosing POI flight mode because this is very useful for things like residential homes and small commercial buildings. If you're considering modeling a larger piece of land or perhaps a large building, consider using rasterize instead, but remember to tilt your camera. For POI flight mode, we'll position our drone directly above the building and select record POI. Set your altitude by having the drone hover and select apply. Now we will fly to an appropriate radius. This is the radius the drone will fly around the point of interest. Be sure your altitude is above anything your drone could fly over. In our case, we're using POI and we see a circular flight path here. We'll choose 67 feet as our radius, keep 72 feet as our altitude, and select apply. Now our drone will move around our point of interest at the defined radius and altitude with its nose pointed towards the middle. You can speed up or slow down the drone and change its direction of rotation. We recommend moving at around 2 miles per hour to give yourself enough time to collect images in a single revolution. Now we start taking our photos manually. Here are the photos we took with the Phantom 4. Our first flight around the property is what we call a context flight. We not only want to collect the building, but also the surrounding environment. This is especially important for our solar users who require nearby obstructions to be included in their model so they can perform an accurate shade analysis. And here's where flight mode and your particular drone and flying app are relatively unimportant. What is important are the photos you're taking. You'll notice there's a lot of overlap between our consecutive photos. This is important for creating a really solid 3D model. If you're flying at two miles per hour, take a photo every few seconds. Since this is a flight for context, we're not only focusing on the building, but we're also collecting nearby obstructions in our images. If you have obstructions even farther away, you can fly at a larger radius or consider flying in a rasterized flight mode. That's a zigzag path over the property. In this first flight, we collected images with context of both the building and surrounding area, and we took 73 images. Now that we've collected images around the entire building, we can stop our POI flight mode. We're done with our context flight, and now we can get a bit closer to fill in more detail of the roof. We'll fly over the top of our building again, this time setting a lower altitude and a smaller radius. As always, Keep an eye on your drone to ensure it's free of any obstacles, and continue all the way around the building for a complete 360 view. Now you can see we're focusing on the roof of this building. Being closer like this will give our model more detail and realism. In this second flight, focusing on the roof's details, we took 53 images. Lastly, we're going to perform a third flight focusing on a particular feature. Now, this isn't necessary, but in our case, we know the chimney is very important to our model. So we're going to fly a third point of interest flight just around the chimney for even more detail in the 3D model. In this last flight, we took 28 images. So there you have it. We took roughly 200 images, which is more than enough. The best way to learn how to collect images is to go out there and do it firsthand. You'll continue getting better at taking these photos and understanding when it's appropriate to use certain flight modes. That is, using POI versus rasterize versus flying manually. The most important things to remember are to tilt your camera angle to see vertical features, take plenty of photos with plenty of overlap, and keep your drone away from any obstructions. Please let us know if you need any help getting started or advice on buying a drone or flying your drone.
Thanks for watching.